Hey guys, Warthog71 here. Thanks for tuning into the channel. Uh, I wanted to make this real quick video. I received a package in the mail today, and this is, uh, I guess you could call this another unboxing video, and it's from Outback. Outback Survival Network. Okay, so they call it Pit Stop Outback Survival Network. And did you ever hear the old saying? If it's too good to be true, it's probably not true. Well, here you have it right here, okay? Um, what this was, I was online one day on Facebook, and I saw this ad for, uh, actually, I saw this ad right here, where they show you this, you hook the camera up to it, up to a, um, a zoom scope, and you can zoom like uh, see the Eiffel Tower from New York. Well, this was it. This is what I purchased back then from them. Uh, and I wound up buying like three of them for like 60 bucks or something like that. And ironically, just the other day, I wound up giving one away at the... Um, sorry for the way I'm talking. I uh, bit my tongue. When I was at the range, I gave one of these away. Um, and then... I'm looking through my email, and I had forgotten all about it because I ordered it a long time ago. And I had uh, one of them in my range bag. I was originally going to set it up with the phone and all that stuff. And actually, it's pretty cool up to 100 yards. So I'm not going to knock this item right here uh, too bad. Doesn't uh, I can't see the Eiffel Tower from New York, but I can see 100 yards clearly with my phone, and I can uh, film it. No problem. It's actually pretty cool. And this weekend when I go to the range, I'm actually going to any video that I shoot there downrange will be done with this and my iPhone 7. Okay. So, I, in one of my emails, I see uh, $40 and you can, uh, and they'll take this medium flat rate box and fill it up with $400 worth of stuff, what have you. <laughs> yeah, I know. I know, guys. Okay, so this is what I got for my 40 bucks. All right, this is my $400 in stuff. You tell me if it was worth it or not. All right, first of all, I got another one of these damn scopes. I know I paid 20 bucks for this. Okay, also, I got one of these. These are this is an attachment for your phone and it spreads out and so on and so forth. Um, and it fits on here nice and tightly, and this it does the job up to 100 yards, not a problem. Okay, so I don't have a problem with that. Also comes with the little tripod that has extending legs to make it uh, like eight inches high or something like that. So not so bad. So, all right, so let's get that out of the way right here. Okay. Next, that was the box that it came in right there. All right. And they call it the Aviator Pro, Aviator Pro Scope is what it is. All right. So I got that. Also, so I'm going through the box, and I didn't want to open up the box in front of all and go through all this stuff. I'm just going to show you what I got, all right? I got this key power that does a uh, lithium, it powers a lithium-ion battery. It's a battery charger, okay? And that's all it is. It's just a damn battery charger. And it comes with a cord, and that's it, and a little black case to throw it in. Um, I don't need it. What am I going to do with that? So, there you have that. All right, what else? This was two of these they jammed in the box, okay? These are a UV Wizard Pro Ultraviolet Home and Office Disinfectant Sterilizing Wand for Germs and Viruses. And um, it comes with a USB cord, and also you put uh, AAA batteries in here. I didn't put in AAA batteries, and you wouldn't be able to see it because you have to turn it down for it to actually go on and it gives you like a UV light under here and then you like go across and it's supposed to kill I don't know microbials and shit like that and they gave me two of these junk second one junk worthless um, on the super worthless part they gave me these two paracord wristbands okay and it has a little Pit Stop logo on it, if you can see. Let's pull this one out. Let's see what we got here. 
Alright, let's take this out of this right here. What the heck am I going to do with that logo on a damn power cord? I would have to cut it off to use the power cord. I mean, and look, it's a, and it's, it's got seepage through here right, where it was cut or ripped or whatever. And it's got these two little locking mechanisms on each end. I got one in black and I got another one in FDE. All right. Um, just a little cleaning cloth for the lens for that. And finally, I received also from them an Ocean Sport Watch. The biggest piece of crap I've ever seen, okay? When you press the light, let me see, let me try to press this light button. When you press the light, let's see if you guys can see it. Look, see it go on? And it doesn't even illuminate the whole thing. But that doesn't really matter. You know why? Because it doesn't hold time. The second hand isn't moving. Neither one of these are moving. You can set it. I set it at 12 o'clock an hour ago. And it hasn't moved. The second hand hasn't moved and those haven't moved. The digital clock inside of it, if you could see that. Okay? Let's see if you can see that right there. The digital clock inside of it seems to be working half ass. I set the wrong time. It's actually 12 o'clock right now. Let me see. Yeah, it's 11.30 something. Oh, 12.30 something. So I'm behind a couple hours on this. It's pretty late at night right now. Okay, so the digital clock works. Uh, it's got a stopwatch on it. 12, 24 hour time. Piece of shit. So there you have it. Okay, and truth be told, the funny thing is, is when I ordered it, then I remembered. Oh, man, this is that damn company that I ordered these things from. And, you know, they didn't live up to what they said. But, you know, true, it's does it's okay for 100 yards. And it's does it does the trick for 100 yards. And it's better than carrying that everywhere. You know what I mean? Carrying one of these. So... A lot easier in carrying that, especially if you're only shooting 50 or 100 yards, if you're zeroing something or what have you. Uh, in, in my case, for filming it to share it with, um, where share it with you guys. Also has like a little case that you can keep it in. And there you have it. Okay, so if you get an email from Pit Stop Outback Survival Network, do yourself a favor. All right. Let them know. Warthog71 already fell for it. Don't you fall for it. Charlie Mike, everybody. Stay safe. Practice good firearm safety techniques. Long live the Republic.